Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Today, the reintroduction of a brand I used to carry. And as I said, now that I have more space, uh, I'm starting to bring in more brands and also some older brands that I had to get rid of due to space constraints. Today, it's going to be Ocean Crawler's day. Uh, so the Ocean Crawler uh, lineup is back. In case you're not familiar with it, uh, Ocean Crawler is a great micro brand uh, from Rochester, New York, which New York's a big state. And I know you think of Long Island, New York, New York City. Rochester is way the heck up there. Uh, it's fairly far away. I would say it's probably about an eight to 10 hour drive from where I am. But still, uh, they come from Rochester, New York, from uh, Christian Champion is uh, the guy that owns the company. Uh, really glad to, glad to have them back in the store. And something that I learned, uh, which was really cool, was about a material that's used in one of the watches I'm going to show you that is called Fordite. I have never heard of Fordite. I had no idea what it was. And now that I know, I think it's so nifty. For my own wrist check, I am wearing my uh, Mother of Pearl Islander. This is ISL 133. I'd put it on a nice soft kind of Horween leather strap. And on my other wrist is the Amerigraph. Uh, this is ISL 202. Full PVD, full loom dial, just a really nice looking watch, super easy to read. Let's, um, let's check out, again, <laughs> Ocean Crawler. Okay, so in the store, I've got about a dozen or so different um, Ocean Crawler models. I'm only going to show you four today. I mean, there's, I think there's three different dial styles of this one, two of this one, three of this one, like three of this one. This is like an, another Kraken model or something. I'm not going to show you all of them. Um, I will show you each of these four, though, in decent detail. So Ocean Crawl is a brand that I did carry. I stopped carrying it, oh, a year and a year ago, year and a half ago, maybe. Um, it was more, mostly a, uh, a space concern. And now that I have more room, because the boxes are tremendous, um, I decided to bring them back in, because uh, I really like the product. They make awesome dive watches. Yeah, they're a little big and chunky. You'll see one of them, though, today is, is, is a nice size, a uh, much smaller size. I'm not going to go into excruciating detail on each one. You can read about it on the website, but um, they do shock testing on them. They regulate them. They give an awesome warranty, a whole bunch of stuff. So let's get into like one of their original models. This is the Core Diver. Uh, it is a 44 millimeter case, 15.6 thick to a slightly domed sapphire crystal, uh, AR coating on the inside. The crystal is four millimeters thick. Four millimeters may not sound like a lot when you're thinking about it, but think about it this way. Four millimeters thick is about 0.16 inches, almost 3 16 of an inch thick. That is one hell of a crystal. It is 50 millimeters on the lug tip to a lug tip. And um, I said four millimeter crystal, super thick, and then you can see this thing right here, you'll know what this is. This is a helium escape valve because the water resistance of this model is 600 meters. Insane. It's an embossed screw down case back, beautiful etching, um, excuse me, beautiful embossed relief artwork. You can kind of see it. See it through the plastic, if you will, or go to the website and you'll see a much, much better picture. Um, it is a 22 millimeter bracelet, 22 millimeter uh, end link, uh, kind of like an engineer style, held together with these socket head screws, or are they Torx? Oh, they're socket head. No, oh, really nice looking on both sides. It comes with a tool in the box to size it. It does also come with a rubber strap. Again, you can see it on the website. Beautiful clasp. It is a glide lock clasp, or I really can't say the term glide lock, can I? It's one of those toolless adjustment where you flip this and then it closes in and out. As I said, I'm not going to give you a full, you guys probably know what it is. Anyway, uh, the weight is 245 grams on this uh, stainless steel bracelet, so it's pretty chunky. Uh, the price is $9.99. You'll find that $9.99-ish is kind of a theme that's going to go around here. Uh, and this, because I have this in two different colors, this is the aqua dial. It is a beautiful aqua dial uh, with a nice sapphire loomed bezel insert. Very easy to read dial, beautiful applied markers, orange accenting hand, date at the six. It's a Salita SW200-1 movement, uh, and uh, it's a really, really swell looking watch. It looks really nice. Uh, cool. Let's go to the next one. Uh, let's see, let's pick one. 
Uh, I'm going to save the Fordite for the last because I want to talk about that in a little more detail. Uh, let's go to the Paladino. So the Paladino will come to you in a few different colors. I have chosen just to show you the full loom version right now. Uh, same movement, Salita SW200-1, 26 joules, hand line tax, 40 hours of power reserve. So this guy is a 43.2 millimeter case. 15.2 thick, again to a slightly domed sapphire crystal. 50 millimeters again on the lug tip to lug tip. Beautiful embossed screw down case back. Uh, we have a 22 millimeter strap, nice uh, and curved and fitted to the case. So it really looks sweet and you do get a bonus strap with this one as well. It's a bonus Kevlar strap. Water resistance also 600 meters, so that's roughly 2,000 feet to you and I. The weight on the rubber strap is 145 grams. Look at the beautiful orange accenting. Matches the strap. Helium escape valve. For those of you that are unaware, a helium escape valve is used for saturation diving. Um, over time, uh, helium kind of gets absorbed, uh, excuse me, it dissolves in the, in the air and it seeps into the case and then when you depressurize uh, the helium wants to expand and leave the watch ASAP instead of it popping the crystal out because you'd be surprised crystals are not held in with a lot of force um, excuse me they're not held out with a lot of force they're held in oh, whichever way you know what I want to say the helium will escape through the helium escape valve instead of popping the crystal uh, it's got two you know two screw down crowns this guy is an inner rotating bezel and that is screwed down as well to maintain uh, your water resistance, so there we go, we'll recenter it. And then this is the beautiful knurling to set the time, hand winds, hand wind tacks, you know the drill. Six o'clock date, also $9.99. It is an, on a, uh, see a deployant, whoops, I can pop it, there we go. A deployant clasp. Let's go to, so they've been kind of big, right? So let's go to something a little bit smaller. This is the Great Lakes. Uh, this guy, I believe I have it in three different colors. So the Great Lakes is going to run on the same movement again, this Alita SW200. Our case size is 40 now. So now we're back, we're two kind of normal size people, uh, watches if you will. It's 13 and a half thick to that slightly domed sapphire crystal with AR on the inside. And a scant 44 millimeters on the lug tip to lug tip. Again, with that embossed screw down case back. 22 millimeter strap. It is a Kevlar strap, and yes, again, you get a bonus strap with it as well. Water resistance on this one is cut down to a mere 300 meters, so no 600 here. This purple dial, though, is really cool looking, huh? Nice and reflective. Looks really cool. Great color, great color. 98 grams on the strap. Again, with the dual crowns, the top one is going to be your bezel. See your internal rotating bezel. Kind of an interesting pattern it's got there, and then the bottom one is for your time. Very nice, almost cushion case watch. If you, I'm just kind of looking at it off camera here. Great profile, beautiful brushing on the sides. Really nice, really, really nice. Uh, let's see, this guy is also $9.99, right? Yes, Great Lakes is $9.99 as well. 98 grams, $999. Let's go to the last one, because this is the one that I thought was really cool. So this is the Fordite version. This is um, $12.99. Uh, weighs 127 grams. I'm going to go over the case real quick. It's 44.2 by 15 by 51.8. It is another 600 meters of water resistant, wa resistance watch. Kevlar strap, 22 millimeters, bonus brown leather strap. Nice brushed case, bezel, 120 click unidirectional ratcheting. But obviously, it's just got the pip, almost like an aviator style um, bezel, no markings on it. The markings are on the inside. So what is Fordite and what did I learn? Well, each one of these is going to be different. I am selling three models. I only have one of each. This is, I believe, version C. I, I have an A, a B, and a C. They're all different. So if you buy this one, this is the one you're going to get. Fordite. Fordite is named after Ford. Fordite is a material... It's a man-made material. Over decades of painting cars in Detroit, 
through the 60s, 70s, and 80s, before electrostatic paint processes came in. Electrostatic paint processes, we, you charge the chassis of the car, and you, you spray it, and all the paint sticks to the car. Before that, it was kind of like you and I spray painting stuff in our garage, where all the overspray would, get, would go onto the bottom of the uh, paint booth. And over the years, all the paint just kept layering up and up and up. So maybe this time they were painting a white car, they were painting a gray car, they were painting a blue car. They were... This is a history of car paint, basically. It's a cross-section of this material that has dried and they chipped out of the bottom of these paint booths. Fordite apparently is a real material. Uh, it's out there. You can buy jewelry out of it, but I thought it was so cool that it even exists. They basically made jewelry out of garbage, more or less. Um, if So if you're a gearhead or know a gearhead, I think this is like so, so nifty. Because I only have three of them. They, only, they didn't make a lot of them. And each one is different. So the photo that you see on the website is the one you're going to get with one each, I don't know how long they're going to last, obviously. And you can kind of read the stuff on the dial. Uh, it says Fordite at the bottom, automatic, 2,000 feet, champion, diver, ocean crawl at the top in gray. It's done, I would say, on purpose, very camouflage -y, the way that the text on the dial is done, because you really just want to see the beauty, the beauty of the dial. That's what the back of it looks like. Ocean crawl or sapphire crystal, automatic, stainless. So nifty. I think that, like I said, this is just so cool to me. Very good. Um, let's see. Let's, um, I guess we'll do a quick loom on all four of them. Uh, and uh, I guess I'll try it on because people want me to try this stuff on. It might look a little bit silly on me. I don't know if I'm able to get this one to even stay for, for a loom shot. But I'll figure it out. Let's get that rolling. So I'll go over them really quick. Here is that, um, this is the Palladino Wave Maker, that full loom dial. Here is the core diver that I showed you with the glowing sapphire insert. Really nice. Here is the Great Lakes with that cool uh, internal rotating bezel. What a nice pattern on it, isn't it? Pretty nifty. And then this one might be the, I don't know, this one might have the least loom, but it's really kind of like the most beautiful dial. And if the camera decides to focus, here it goes. This is that Fordite dial, there's not much there. So you're looking at the bezel pip at the 12, the second hand is coming around to the 12, and then the hour and the minute hands. Again here, the most important part is seeing the beautiful dial, not seeing the time at night. So I will rip through these rather quickly. Here is the Great Lakes, the smallest of the bunch, and probably the best looking on my six and a half, six and three quarter inch wrist. Core diver, it says a lot about a watch and I can put it over my hand without having to take any, without having to even open the clasp from the plastic. But it looks, it's a beautiful, beautiful watch. It's obviously, it's big, bulky, and heavy, um, but certainly there is a market for that. Palladino's pretty sweet on the rubber strap, looks really nice, great fit. Love the splash of color on the side of the case. Let's check out what's clearly my favorite, the Fordite. Here's that Fordite dial. Clean, beautiful, definitely a conversation starter uh, all around. I'm on the last hole of the strap, though. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd have to get a... Well, I mean, it's fine. It's actually a little tight on the last hole, but still, if I wanted to wear it, I need a different size strap. Sorry, I'm trying to show you this lug to lug. There you go. Beautiful. It is absolutely a, a true piece. It's a piece of garbage that has turned into art. And that's going to do it from me here, welcoming... Um, Ocean Crawler back to the stable. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions, comments, concerns, queries, anything else, you can put them down below and I'll be sure to address it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.